Hello everybody, James here from It's Much More, and in this video we're taking you through our top five games for the Atari Collection 1 on the Evercade. Let's have a look. Number five. So starting us off, we have Adventure. So yeah. Really like this game. It's kind of just like Atari's 2600 version to Zelda. So, uh, yeah. I quite like it. So I need to use that to get in there. Then I go and get the sword. That's it. Put that down there. Let's go. Let's go and fight these people. But yeah, look at this. It's like a little uh, role-playing game, which is, uh, for its time, impressive. You know, let's take him out. Oosh. Stop him and get the key. Hit him. There we are. Let's go and get that key now. Whoa! Watch out. Does that open this? No. But yeah, so there is so many great games on this Atari collection, number one. So uh, this has to be on there. And starting off the list, top five, this is Adventure. So many uh, people like this game, and uh, I can see why. It's just fun to play. I don't know what I'm doing most time, but I just think it's a case of you use the keys, open the different castles, move the bridges about. Oh yeah, there's a castle there. What's this? Oh, that goes with that, I guess. Oh, it's, a, <coughs> it's a magnet. Okay, so we need that. Anyway. Use a bridge to get out of here. It may not be people's taste for visuals, but for the time, it was, you know, kind of groundbreaking, really, because it's just a fun little game. I like it, so this is number five on my top five list. Oh! Number four. Being a fan of the arcade version of this game, I have it on a couple of compilations. Crystal Castles makes it to number four on the list. So yeah, pretty cool little game. All we got to do is just collect all these... Well, they're supposed to be berries, I think, or apples or something for the bear. But they're on this game, uh, they're lines because of the limitations, I guess, of the time. But... Uh, it is fun, you just got to dodge your way out of these uh, characters. There you go, that's the first level done. So making it to number four on the list. And yeah, there you watch out for the uh, the bees that come down with that honey pot. You've got to jump over the trees that get you. Your points go up as well and your life's down the bottom. There comes the bees, watch out for those. Yeah, there's lifts as well, as you can see in the middle there is a platform that moves up and down. So some of the levels Obviously get more advanced as they move on, and uh, with more enemies and different obstacles and all sorts of different things in the way, and also some power-ups as well. You might be able to get some speed boosts, because I remember from the arcade version you can go a bit faster. Oh, the bee's got me! Yeah, quickly get that honey pot and use the lift as well. Quick. Oh. No, too many trees in the way. Get that, there you go, you got your points there, so my points are builded up and the bees are just not happy, the fact that I got uh, the honeypot. One left to go, there we go, on the next level. There we go, so the levels get more difficult, more complex, with more enemies and different styles of enemies as well, they do different things, there's a skeleton up there as well. Use that platform to go down, can't do it just yet. Hopefully it should be this one, or if it's the middle one, yeah, it's the middle one, let's quickly get that platform to go down. And there we are. So this is number four on the list. Number three. Making it to number three on the list, it's Motor Psycho. Came out in 1990 from Atari. So yeah, I do like racing games. And as you can probably gather on some of the top five videos I've done so far, there's going to be racing games in there. So if the cartridge has racing games, it's probably in the top five. So you get to choose your track as well. So I'm going to choose the first track. Very colourful. Very much like Hang On. I've got Hang On on the Master System. There we go. The only downside is the engine noise that you hear every so often, but that doesn't matter. You can jump as well. Woo. Yeah, so that's a little bit different to Hang On, but look, this came out in 1990, and it's quite good for the sprites. They're quite big, and uh, the use of the backgrounds moving as well this has been seen in many games over the years but look at that for backdrop as well it looks pretty cool 
So we're catching up with some of the racers. Oh, don't know why I jumped. And you can see the tyre moves slightly in the back as well. So those sort of little touches just make it look like you're actually moving. So this has made it to number three on the list. Just watch out for those cones there. Look at that. Extra time. So it's kind of like an arcadey game as well. So if you're a fan of Hang On, uh, you may like this game. But um, yeah, if you picked up this Atari collection with your Evercade, this it should be one that you have a go on. It's something different. It's you know The graphics look a little bit better to most of the games that's on this compilation as well. And if you do like racing games and dodging out of the way of oncoming traffic, then this is for you. If you haven't done so already, why not check out some of the other top five videos that I've done on the channel. And I've also done a couple of other videos as well to show you how to live stream and capture footage of your arcade, as well as my first impressions. So those are the videos, and they'll be at the end of this video as a playlist that you can watch and tune in. And if you don't agree with the list of my top fives, why not leave a comment and let me know what yours are. Number two. Up next is Ninja Golf 1990 from Atari. So that makes it to number two on the list. So here we go, very good graphics as well. And this is quite popular for many people for the collection when you see videos uploaded. Oosh. Because it's a golf game plus a fighting game as well, which is pretty cool. So it's elements of side scrolling, golf, and also there's boss battles as well. So it's a little bit different and I very much like it. It mixes together scrolling beat em ups with golf. So I don't think that's ever been done before or ever since. But yeah, pretty cool. There are some boss battles later on as well. So it just uh, keeps you wanting to play it. And, you know, it's not the best of golf games. It's not the best of beat-em-up games. But mixing them both together, it's a pretty cool little combination. Here we go. There's my ball. So let's uh, move the angle around where I'm going to hit it. So I want it down here. Oosh. No, let's move on. Before I can get reach my golf ball, I need to take on these guys. And then obviously when I get to the hole, there'll be the boss battle. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Crazy frogs. Look how big those frogs are compared to the humans. The health gauge as well, and the number of lives, and your score. Let's get back on the track, shall we? On the course. Let's go up here. I don't know if it's just kicks that you can do, but that's all I seem to have done. Let's pick up some health. Oosh. You can kick and jump. And then throw shurikens. But yeah, for a collection, this Atari one has some big hitter names on there as well. Some of which haven't made it to the top five, purely because I've played them on all different uh, different ways over the years. But um, yeah, I won't uh, give anything away, but there is loads of big names on this collection that didn't make it to my top five. Right, made it to the ball. So let's hopefully get to the green. Oh, look at that for a shot. And now we made it onto the green, so here's the boss. Oh! Lost a life there. So if you're a fan of like, Space Harrier as well, kind of looks like Space Harrier-like. So just dodge the oncoming attacks from the enemy dragon. Oosh, he's done for. Number one. Number one, Alien Brigade. So that is the top of my top five list. Some big names didn't make it to the list. I've chosen some of the games that are... Some of them that hold uh, quite a lot of memories for me, and then some of them that I've never played before, and this is the first time I've experienced. And this is the first time I've experienced this. But I do like games like Operation Wolf and House of Dead and Virtual Cops. I like my light gun games. And as you can see, look at this. The graphics is great. So what you got to do is you take out the enemies that are shooting you, really. There they are, the aliens as well. You can fire and throw grenades. And you don't shoot your own enemies. But for some bizarre reason, you shoot the helicopters. I think the, uh, the aliens must have taken over the helicopters. 
these guys are aliens. They even though they look like soldiers. And that tank as well. There's a standard alien. But yeah, fan of Operation Wolf, you will like this game. And it's impressive that this was on the Atari 2600 as well. And it's great to have it on the Evercade. I think this is, I don't know if this is the, uh, the only shooter, first person style shooter game that you've got on the rail shooter that you've got on this whole collection, on all these collections. Oh, damn it, shot the wrong guy. Have some grenades. So yeah, do you agree with the list, the top five list? I mean, there's so many, as I said, on this uh, cartridge. And also there's Atari Collection 2 as well, so there's going to be loads of them, because there's 20 in total on each cartridge. So uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments field below if you thought this deserves the top spot on the list, or whatever your top five would be. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to hear from you. If you want to like, comment, subscribe to the channel as well, we do upload our top five Evercade videos for each collection every Tuesday at 8 o'clock on the channel they premiere so we do have a live chat so if you want to come along and take part in the live chat that would be great as well and hear your opinions and thoughts on what you thought of this so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, I've been James Mitz much more and uh, we'll see you in the next one you take care of yourself all the best bye bye